I think it's safe to say maybe I was wrong on this one. I could be wrong. I could have been wrong on this one. Because initially, based off what my sources told me, he was not even shortlisted. But things have changed. Welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. Massive, massive respect. Thank you very much again, people, for tuning in. It's quite an interesting one. We're going to discuss Miguel Coley and the reggae boys, a coach. Now, <clears throat> let me just clear. Initially, I was informed by my sources, I think about, maybe about two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I was informed by my sources because Miguel Coley was the name that popped up, big, 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 popped up big. And apparently at that point in time, he was amongst the, the 40 candidates and was not being narrowed down on. Like, you know, they kind of say, all right, my part are the 40 candidates. My part are the candidates that um, seek to apply for the job. And really and truly, based off the reports that the technical director, I think, the technical, I think he said that they are looking in that direction of an Argentine coach. And then now when Zapata come in, everybody thought, hey, Zapata, Argentine coach, Jamaica. Yeah. But the, the initial aim from what I got was an Argentine coach because of all the rest of them had my Copa American, all of the what all of the glories that is following the Argentine coaches know. But may I wonder if it's a source it's a smoke screen. Really now I wonder if it's a smoke screen. Because no, I've gotten two names. I've gotten two names. Um, at the end of the video, I might call the next name. Or I'm just leave it for the next video. I might. Depends on how I feel at the end of the video. Anyways, so let's let's touch on first Miguel Coley. Now, I do believe that a lot of persons... The Miguel Coley story, I think you have more persons who's on the Miguel Coley, Coley um, wagon than that are not. And let me tell you why I think, and there's pros and cons to everything. Let me tell you why I think there's a lot of persons on the Miguel Coley uh, um, um, wagon. I think it's because he's Jamaican. He knows the culture. He knows the players. And um, he has gone outside of Jamaica to gather that level of experience. He has worked with or previously or pre um, senior coaches as well. And worked with senior, um, our senior team as well. So it's, it's, it's really an interesting one. And so apparently, Miguel Coley has found himself in a very, very good position. I would think that maybe they might look on the cultural background of Miguel Coley. So, you know, him fit the culture, understand what is, what is required. You know, the importance of, of Jamaica going to the World Cup. And maybe that level of, how should I put it on, loyalty might be there. Unlike what we saw with, <laughs> with Al Grimson. But... Maybe that's one of the reasons why I know they have now narrowed down. Zoom in a little bit on, on Miguel Coley. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Let me tell you, me first of all, I'm surprised on, on, on getting this report. Very, very surprised on getting this report. I initially thought that, well, not thought. I was initially informed that Miguel Coley was just on the 40-man candidate. And not necessarily one, one, one I mean priorities him. But it has come now that he's now been zoomed in hand. And it's quite important. It's quite interesting because... He did his interview. <laughs> he did his interview in a close day to know me. I did the video. Probably, I think I'll. When did the interview? Last week? Hmm. We can't make that clear. But <clears throat> according to my sources, I spot him, you know, leaving the JFF. But I could see the one to go. Or I could see the one to go. I could see. I don't know if I virtually or whatever, but I could, could see the one to go. But as it stands, Miguel Coley is one of the. The names that has now been zeroed on. I mean, I mean zeroed on, I mean closing on. I said, you know what? Let's see what he has to say. Let's see what his mindset is at. Let's see what he has to offer. You know what? A lot of persons can ask the questions now. What kind of, what is Miguel um, Coley's style of play? What does he offer um, rather than just the cultural background? How can he um, mend the, the, the players in, in, in Europe also? Let's see how, how, how can he mend... Um, if, if, if possible, local players. What are his tasks regarding to local development? Um, 
So these are quite interesting. Will we see the similar local camps like what we see Al Grimson did? Because we don't, we already know, say, that's not something that has to take place. I would have seen the reason why that has to take place. I know, I know most persons might say, boy, that's not, not really important. Um, it's actually, it's actually really, really important. But it's an interesting one, um, quite an interesting one. As I said, the, the, the main aim was to zoom in on the Argenti Argentine coach. Um, I haven't gotten an Argentine coach name as yet. Uh, I haven't gotten any as yet. <laughs> the big name now, Papa was Oli, Dwight York. I think Miguel Cole wasn't the first name that hit the media. It's one of the first things that hit the media. And apparently at this moment, it seems like he's in a good, good position. Not saying that he's a leading candidate, but yeah, he's in a good position um, to be considered. And once you're in that position, I think you're, you're probably kind of comfortable. Uh, I think it boils down now to understanding and what is likely to happen. But <clears throat> he's going back against some big guns. <laughs> he's going back against some big guns, actually. Uh, and the big thing is, will he, will he get it? And we see Dwight York, Dwight York speak well. And he, 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 if you watch the interview that he did, speaking about um, the, the approach or the interview, he gave some, some quite in-depth detail and importance of, of, of the job that he's, that he's applying for, the reggae boy's job. So it's quite, it's quite interesting. Um, apparently, as I said, a lot of persons don't understand the lucrativeness of this of this um, reggae boys head coach job. It's a it's a very very lucrative job. Not just being the head coach of the reggae boys, um, the World Cup World Cup qualification, the um the Adidas connection, it's 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 very very lucrative. Also working with the players that we have in the squad at this present moment, and so it's very very interesting. Miguel Cooley, one will pop out of the bag. I don't think it's surprising because a lot of persons would have already reported on it um, and reported the reason why they think Miguel Coley should get a job. In my view, um, they, they, there's a lot of things about the, the national head coach. I said that boy, experience is, um, is key. You have to can do something. But I do think that, as I mentioned earlier, that it's not just about a big name coach. It's about the right coach. I think it has, it has to be the right coach culturally, um, a balance. Uh, so a coach a smart, a coach who can make big, big decision, big, big aura. I'm not afraid of big name players can make big, they can stand on in two foot. So it's quite interesting. It's very, very interesting to see um, his name now being mentioned. Um, you know what? May I do the next video later? Look out for the video throughout the course of the day. Look out for the video. So don't skip a dial. Make sure so to turn on post notification because this name I don't see. I mean, even if nobody report on it as yet, I don't think anybody has reported it on it as yet. But look out for it later. Um, quite an interesting one, quite an interesting one. Um, so multiple reports on Miguel Coley. I initially thought that I said, no man. Um, from, from what I was told, Miguel Coley was not necessarily um one of the prime candidates it was amongst the, the, the can the candidates but it was not a prime candidate until the past week or so when he, they, they really really zoom in on him you don't know why that is the case is it financially viable is it probably somebody where they can't talk to him listen i don't know but <laughs> he's a he's a person um he seems he seems to have a big personality so i, th I think that he can stand on his own i think he can stand on his own i think that he, he has the right attributes as well but we will see we'll definitely see tell us what you think in the comment section smash the like button hit subscribe button quite an interesting one look up mr people turn on notification bell so that when the video drop today you'll see who i am speaking about massive massive respect people. please hit the like button hit subscribe button miguel coley whoo it's seen me myself people it's a narrow no no so all our names them that you're seeing being mentioned now from now till whatever time period. These are the names that are possible will be the head coach. Um, initially out, some of these names never did in my bag. But now, we are seeing some very, very interesting names. As we say, out of two names, I'm going to just get one. Second one, I'm going to release later. And it's not a name that you guys have heard before. I'm not sure if me, me seen nobody report on it. But quite an interesting one. See you guys again. Until next time. MG Sports TV. Like, share, subscribe. If you feel like. Link in the comment section. If you can buy us a coffee, we would really appreciate it. If not, the easiest way to support the channel is by hitting it. Oh, um, so we have a um, MG Sports versus Knockins. 1v1 competition. 1v1 competition at Kick It. You have to pay $1,000 to enter. 
um, top winner prize get a uh, twenty thousand. Can you imagine pay thousand uh, called display skill set live? Can I talk, me go, me go do it live as well. Video co coverage as well. Whole pack clippings I go go on. Send up on Instagram. You likely to go viral. Um, so for win twenty thousand, just come play some ball. Can you imagine pay thousand? Uh, come play some ball and win twenty grand if you're good like that. The thing is, you know, you're not gonna depend on nobody. You're depending on yourself. You are depending on yourself. So your talent, I will go and display for you to win the 20,000. And we don't know. Let's see who will see these video clips. And we don't know, something might happen. Big up on yourself, people. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe button. MG Sports TV here. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you like. See you again, people. All right. Now, I mean, yellow, shallow.